charge in Deerham. And unfortunately, red on this one. So we've got Susan trying to charge on the other one. So yeah, first time DC charging for me with the Mini and for Susan at all. So yeah, plug that one in. Why can't I have that one? Because that's Chadamo. That's for Nissan Leaf. Oh. No, no, it's okay. okay. Right, it's in. Okay. Go and tap the RFID. Watch here. Ooh. Oh, what a prize, just like that. Ooh, select my customer connector. First one. Yep. Start. Actual vehicle. Yeah, done that. Press done start. That. Start. All right. Okay. Go straight through. To so we're trying the Osprey charger on the Octopus Energy Juice Network. First time. Now, I really wanted to try this ages ago because the idea is that we haven't got an account with Osprey. We haven't had to present a bank card, not a credit card or debit card. We've just presented the RFID with Octopus. So this charge is going to be billed through to our home energy account, which we're in credit with, so it's not costing us anything. I think this is absolutely oh, brilliant oh, idea. <laughs> so we're at 83% state of charge. How fast is it charging? An Does it show? Three minutes. Show your ID to stop. So it's not showing us um, how much kilowatts we're getting on the charger, but we don't need very much, so we'll just stop here for a little bit. And hopefully just grab a couple of kilowatt hours, And because uh, like I said, we only need 12 for this journey. So hopefully, I don't know if you can see that. Shall I go into Aldi? <laughs> can you what? Go into Aldi. Why? Because I want to see things, I, want, I need some dates. If you want to, come on then. <laughs> Don't be long though, because we're only stopping here for a few minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I've got this dark coat. Oh. Excellent. Oh, that's fun. Good, that makes it amusing then. Oh, <coughs> okay. Okay, so that's um, a little bit of an odd charging session to start with, because the Mini doesn't show you... Um, what you're actually doing and whether you're charging or not as in how many kilowatts you're charging so i can see there's a spinning wheel in the dash so that we're charging but i can't see how many kilowatts we're receiving um and the charger here on osprey doesn't tell you the kilowatts you're receiving either so i really was interested to see what we're getting because we're at 80 odd percent 85 percent now and normally they throttle down a lot on the dc charging so i'm not expecting very very high but I hear the Mini does really well actually on DC charging so um, I was sort of keen to see how long and how quick a splash and dash we could do at these high percentages because we left on 100% and um, it's a small battery so it should go up quite quickly 86% already so I hope you don't mind me sharing these videos um, live rather than um, recording them and editing them. I, I hope you can actually see it. I mean, I hope I've clicked the right items to make it public and make it live now. It is odd that I haven't done these live videos for such a long time. You, you do soon get out of practice. Anyway, uh, as I was explaining in the first video, the idea of this is just to repeat that journey that I did to go over to the butchers in Woodall Spa, um, which I did as a crazy trip in three parts last time and charged twice at Tesco pod point charges for free. But it took me like a couple of extra hours to do the charging and it's not it's not what people would normally do. Um, so the point to today's exercise is one, to go to the butchers, obviously, that's what I want to do. But the main point is to get Susan some experience charging with this octopus energy juice network car because it's the easiest and best that we've got so if she aims for this charger either on the way out somewhere or on the way back because it's local to us it's what well, we we just went um 18 battery to get here so 18 battery from 100 to get here we can probably recharge 20 percent very very quickly in fact while i've been live and while susan plugged in she's just popped to aldi to grab some dates apparently <laughs> um 
we've now I've now been live five minutes and we're 87 percent already so it really is a short short stop um, as soon as she gets back we'll head off and we're heading to Wybiston, um Boston for the instant chargers and we'll have uh, used a lot more of the battery by the time we get there um, and if a couple of the followers uh, that I follow on Twitter um, they're around because apparently they're very close to that area it'd be nice to catch up and say hello as well so if you're there and close I um, don't know how far away we are um, an hour and a half we're probably an hour and a half away from now to get to um, Instavolt Boston Susan's doing most of the driving uh, I'll be doing some of it but uh, it's not it's not to get economy it's just so that I can do the filming and uh, mess around on my tablet anyway uh, like I said hope you like these updates that's Susan's first DC charge and first are uh, both of our first use of this uh, Octopus juice network so it's really nice to try these things so it's a good excuse to come out the weather's really nice today um, the car had a nice clean as well so uh, yeah really nice day out hopefully hopefully we'll have some nice lunch somewhere around Woodall Spa and uh, why not why not when you've got nothing else planned for the day dogs in the back we'll go for a nice dog walk and experiment tour find out what's going on try things um, that's what I like doing and yeah I really do want to get Susan so she's very very confident with charging especially with the chargers that are close to us like this so if she's ever running close to um, running out this being 18 percent away um, in energy wise from home is a really good place to stop and charge especially when it's that easy no credit cards you don't even have to have your credit card with you just this which uh, yeah I keep in the car so I uh, hope you're enjoying this take care see you again soon for the next update probably when we get to the Instaval or unless something pops up along the way but of course I'm doing this with my 3G mobile signal and uh, you know what Norfolk's like uh, we don't have hills and we don't really have mobile data signals so who knows how it'll go along the trip take care see you again soon for the next update I'll try and do three or four of these at least uh, during the day so you can catch up and see what we're doing bye for now